Alright, hey guys, Fleetway Supersonic here, back with another Sonic merchandise video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this fairly uncommon item right here. Which is a Sonic the Hedgehog sort of mini water game. As you can see there. These were uh, available in the United Kingdom and they were manufactured from about the early to mid 90s. You could pretty much obtain them in most toy shops really. Um, I've had my one since it come out. I believe my one come from Woolworths. Um, from what I found on it, I believe they were around £4.99. So yeah, I've had mine that long, so it has had a bit of wear and tear. But as you can see, I still own the, the box for it, which is quite fantastic on its own, because these are very hard to see with the boxes still intact with them. So if I go through the box here a little bit with you, as you can see Sonic there. This is what the actual item itself looks like in motion. And you come to the top there. Yeah. These were made by uh, Tomy, as you can see there, there's their logo. So as you can see, the box has had a bit of rough and tough, but considering the age, just having the box is amazing. Some, uh, foreign language instructions. And here we go, here are the English instructions, still got the sellotape on there, amazingly, when it was new. And then you can see what it says there, fill the game with water, press the stopper cap firmly in place, push the, the sonic whoosh button and see how many rings you can attach on the hooks. Basically the same on the other side, just the English one. Okay, now I'll show you what the item itself looks like inside the box. Now it, it has had a bit of wear, it has had a lot of use out of me, obviously when I was a young child. It was played with many times, but still, it is still in rather good condition. There's Tommy Water Games there. There's the, uh, the whoosh button as it's called. And I'll just come a bit closer. So basically, this is the, the cap bit at the top there. Just, basically, you'd just uh, you'd lift this little thing off of here. And that is where you would pour the water. There was also another one on the bottom as well. Easier, to, well, more like the drain one. Much easier for it to drain. We've got the Tommy logo there, made in Thailand. Um, better look at it itself. I'm not gonna fill it up with water because try to keep it in as best condition as I can. Now they want to erode it anymore. But I'll give you an example of how it works. You basically fill the the whole thing up with water up to here. You got all these loose little rings down here, all different colours. As you can see, they still move around. And then you basically would press the button, and they would whoosh up. This little Sonic here also uh, spins around, and they would sort of go over him. And you're supposed to try to hook them on here as all the rings. 
to uh, complete the game. And that was that. Sort of a very simple entertainment in the 90s. But hey, it was still good fun. I'll show you the back here. Just the back of the picture. Nothing to jumping out at you there. And that's it. See, Sonic has had a little bit of a. He's had a little bit of wear there, a bit of fading for the amount of water that's gone in and out of there. But otherwise, the colours are still vibrant and um, clear. I've seen some that are totally washed and faded away. That's it. Nothing too special about inside the box, just a standard box. Just curious about that. Okay, and that's it back in the box now. Um, there was a, another version of this one, it was a smaller version of this game. It was uh, red instead. About the same era, from Tomy as well. Basically the same style game, you had to uh, press the button to get um, all the rings up on the hooks. Though it didn't have a spinning Sonic in this one. So this one I'll definitely say is the superior out of the two, if you happen to own one or the other one, or even both. And that's it. Appreciate any comment, likes or subscribes. And I'll see you guys soon.